My topic is enterprise and um, university enterprise and thinking about I'm thinking about what is enterprise and uh, how can we define it? Which, what are your ideas? What is enterprise? When you speak about the higher education, what is enterprise? Activity. Huh? Activity. It's an activity. Yeah, okay. Any other ideas? What is enterprise? Have you thought about this? What is enterprise? We are talking about university enterprise. What is this? Huh? Offering the services and, uh, to earn something that uh, has the desire of the team. You see, well, there is another view offering services uh, to, to who? Uh, some uh, key stakeholder, especially the students. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To some keyhole world. What do you mean? Can you give an example? An example. I can answer uh, uh, organizers and uh, university uh, ability to do more uh, some activity in order to to let some student or some other stakeholder to understand what we are able to offer and what we need to get. Uh-huh. So, but again, offering services to outsiders or within the universities? I think uh, to the to private time to the outside and also uh -huh. in, in the mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. Well, it's a possibility. <coughs> yes. From the point of view, uh, in Brian, uh, in the business concept, in, uh, with that the activity of the entrepreneur to gather the resources like human resource and capital to create the value product offered to the customer. Did you hear this? Very important. Human resources and what else? What, what and capital. And capital. Yeah, okay. But human resources comes first in your answer. Human resources. And that's what is necessary for the enterprise, but which is outside the university. Okay, good. And what, if we are talking about university enterprise, what do we think about? What do you think? Okay, well, if you wake up in the morning and I will ask you, what is university enterprise? What will you say? <laughs> what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay, if I what would you say? Thinking, thinking. We need to think about it. Yes. Tracking the whole day is tracking the enterprise of the university management in the morning is to make the environment then for the learning process we can hold the thing so that they will, they will get the result effectively. I heard management. Something. Management and management of the learning process. Do you want to say this? Uh, management, encouraging, uh -huh. making them, making them the who? Students. 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 Yeah. Okay. Making them the participants. Participants and encouraging, supporting every aspect. Supporting means uh -huh. supplying the teachers, documents. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. making the academic environment. Okay, that's very interesting. And we are supporting them. We are supporting the students to do what? For the study. For the study and study what? Study for. Uh, <coughs> study what? Uh, regarding their context. Uh huh. Context, text according to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Context, obviously, is a professional yeah. context, yes. But apart from professional context, <coughs> what do we want them to do? Professional context, obviously, they have to be 
professionals. And if they study, for example, at City University in Mongolia, they obviously need to, to be doctors, so they need to, to be doctors. That's the first thing. But what other skills do we want to teach them? How to organize the profession so that they can... Certainly. I don't even have... Maybe it's the microphone. Yeah. Uh, yes. So what else do we want to teach apart from their professional knowledge and skills? What else do, do they need? What do your students need? According to the demand of the country. Okay, according to the yes. Uh, what is the what is demanding the purpose? Yes. Engineering. What type of group, what type of construction is required in the field, real field? Uh -huh. okay. uh, accordingly, for example, can you give an example from Nepal? Can you give us examples? Uh, yeah, uh, it means uh, what type of road, for example, for bridge, bridge mass mass. Okay. Uh, what is the geology there? It depends upon the basin of the river and our so resources, availability, okay. and traffic, uh, traffic volume. Yes. For example. Okay. okay. Uh, then we uh, in the right ways then we have to do the correlations and so that they will be sellable hotcakes to address the demand of the country that these must be correlated between demand yes. and supply. Okay. That's very supply. good. That's very good. Yeah, I agree with you. Demand of the country is very important. And supply, and supply. yes. We, we. As a from professor, I think it's subscribe. Yes, soft skills. What are soft skills? What is soft communication? Communication, for example, yes. Interpersonal skills. Yes. Problem solving. Okay, so we know what soft skills are. Are we clear about soft skills? Yeah, because that, then we will be talking all the time about soft skills, so we, we need to be clear about this. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I will do this with the machine. Okay. Okay, we have, do you, have you heard about quality assurance agency? In the, United, uh, in the United Kingdom, we have Quality Assurance Agency, and they, does, they publish guidance. I think the, the slides will be available for everyone uh, after, after the workshops. And they define enterprise as application of creative ideas and innovations to practical situations. It's very vague, isn't it? Isn't it? Creative ideas and innovations to practical situations. But that's what we teach students to be innovative and to have creative ideas. This is, we were talking about soft skills, but this is so important. For the students to be creative, it doesn't matter whether the student is a geologist or a medical doctor. The students need to learn how to be creative in their professional environment, professionally, and just outside the profession, and think about innovations. How can they do better? How can they do things more efficiently? And I'm sure you as many of you managers at the university, you are thinking about how can we do more efficiently things at the university. So we, we constantly, we are constantly involved in being creative and innovative. And that's what we teach our students, to look not only their profession, but also how to be creative and how to be an object. Um, and uh, 
creativity combines the ideas of development and what we said, problem solving, with expression, communication, and practical action. Uh, of course, while well, this is the distinct from what we said, from the business idea of the enterprise, which we said is human resources and capital. But for the enterprise, for the business to move on, they need this. And here the university, that's how the university link up. Uh, developing creative ideas and innovations for enterprise, for, for, the, for the business, or for anything, for any uh, organization. So, enterprise education aims to produce graduates with mindset and skills to come up with original ideas in response to identified needs, shortfalls, and the ability to act. What does it mean? That means that, for example, in Nepal, there are certain needs and certain requirements, and enterprise education should reflect this. That's what you said, and very good, very good that you said it. Because what needs are in Greece, what you need to, they are different from what they are in Nepal. And obviously they are different in all other countries, and even within the same country, they can be also different. So University of Hanoi will be different to the University of Danau, because they will have different needs and different requirements. And the set of training, the set of soft skills, will be different. And even within the, the same university, because of different specialisms you teach, you will have different set of soft skills required. Because that's what the market, we said the external forces, that they will be asking you to do and that students, because you want to prepare students for a job, you don't want them to be unemployed, sitting outside, looking for a job, I don't know, in the street. So the main thing is to have an idea and to make it happen. And that's very important, thinking that I want this to happen. And these are the skills which will include the an enterprise skills. And you can see, I put the first one, taking the initiative. How to make students to be more initiative. Intuitive decision making. That they're making decisions for themselves. I think it's very good, we, we did all the other projects, we did this um, survey, and one of the questions was, was, who is making decisions? We are, were asking students whether they are making decisions. This is important. Whether they can make decisions about uh, their studies. Making things happen. Networking is so important is crucial nowadays in any professional field. Identifying opportunities, problem solving, and um, innovating strategic thinking and personal effectiveness. So, when we talk about enterprise education, it goes be beyond the knowledge we normally give at the universities. It is a wide range of skills. Skills which can be emotional, intellectual, it could be social and practical. So when they get all these variety of skills, the students will be fully qualified to get into the job market.
it, it is also important that we teach the students that they learn not only while they are at the university, but we tell them how to develop all their life from the university, well, until they die, maybe. But that lifelong learning is extremely important. Because what you asked me, or somebody said that Alex knows everything. No, Alex doesn't know everything. Because I'm in this life learning. I am learning. Today, I'm learning from you. The question I asked, are they, about, they are for you, but they are also for me, because I'm learning from you. And this is the lifelong learning, because I'm learning also from you about your countries. And that's what the students need to know, that they learned something. They are even doctors, but they will learn. They will learn more, because everything is developing. What will they do now? I mean, just if, you, if they learn from books, the books, they are already old. And when they go out into the market, into the job market, that will be five years already when they graduate. So everything will be already old fashioned and everything would move on. So that's why we need to teach how to see, so that they know how to develop themselves. Uh, constantly, constantly being uh, with the with your with the profession, and um, also with the soft skills. So, professional and transferable skills, and that's ongoing development, uh, and also work relevant and work based learning is. And, uh, and obviously, we need to encourage the students to have to be responsible for their learning. Oh, well, you can, you can find more details in this. I have many links on my slides so, so that you can also read more. Because uh, originally I was given uh, only 10 minutes for this. Uh, but we have a little bit more because these are present right. Okay. Uh, we have also uh, on enterprise education, we, we talk about staff development, curriculum development. Uh, it's very important that this goes through the whole institution. It's not only one course or, for example, one faculty works on this, but all the faculties, the whole institution supports this, starting from the from your president or your rector or your vice chancellor. That you develop employer partnerships, and again, it doesn't mean that this is only the work of the enterprise unit or employability unit. It's the work of everyone at the university. Everyone tries to to establish some <coughs> partnership relations, some working with the fluid. And of course, student participation. It doesn't mean that it's only you, teachers, who are working on this. It's also the work of the students. Um, students, you can't transform students into consumers only. They have to get out of their shell and they work together in partnership with teachers. And that's important that we'll be talking about this. Okay, I have more questions. You have them on the slides. So what is the first question is what 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 about academics? Did they like the idea of enterprise higher education? Um, is it the encouragement of entrepreneurship and wealth creation, the, high, the um, enterprise higher education? 
does it challenge the cultures of some traditional disciplines? Is, is there clarity about the term enterprise? I think we have clarity. So what do you think about We need also to understand that students are <coughs> beneficiaries, but students have the should have the understanding that they are partners in this process. They are not just beneficiaries, and they can sit and relax, but they are partners, and they are working together with academic staff in developing their skills knowledge and in skills and with employers as well. So we are creating some sort of a network of academics, students, employers, uh, and then we work together in this way to achieve the results. I wanted to give the, some examples of other university, and I decided to take from Shackle. Uh, and it's very interesting that they said in the first sentence that enterprise, and that's how they understand, this is not starting a business or making money. Because that's what people often understand. Oh, it's something about starting a business. No, this is not about starting a business. I know about making money. And that's what the university, I think I like this statement from the University of Sheffield, because that's the first thing they said. Well, it can include this, obviously, but this can be one of the points. But the main thing that they're saying that enterprise is being proactive, taking initiative, taking risks, overcoming adversity, innovation, <coughs> the invention, ideas generation, creativity, seizing opportunities, finding solutions, entrepreneurship and business skills, entrepreneurship skills, as well as social enterprise and innovation. Um, and this definition um, is supported by QAA guidelines, and you can find it in the QAA guidelines as well. And that's Quality Assurance Agency in the United States. <coughs> well, that's briefly it. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, do, do you have any questions? Thank you.